I want to tell you about Grove Church, who came to us to rebrand several months ago. This was a church that is in New York, actually just outside of Manhattan, on the New Jersey side. So we talked through a discovery process and found out everything we could about Grove and why they wanted to rebrand it. And basically it boiled down to being better equipped to reach the people in that community. The church itself had been around for almost a hundred years and it's been serving that community, but it was time for them to begin to market themselves uh, a little bit more uh, to the young families that are now in that area. What had been working to serve that community was not working in the same way. So they just want to get a rebrand, uh, something fresh and new as far as how they present themselves to the community. So we, we do this questionnaire and uh, through the questionnaire, we're able to learn a lot about what Grove wants to do. Like, what are the, what's the vision that they have moving forward? What, and we also took a look at the past, and we want to include some of that as well. We want to honor the past since it's been there in that community for a while, but looking forward, we wanted to make sure that we created a brand, uh, logo, and, and colors, and all those things that really represents them well in that community, especially when we consider their audience that they're trying to reach. That's really the, the center point of a brand. As we look to develop a brand, we wanted to look at the, at the audience that is in that community that Grove will be really great at serving. So uh, they told us that um, through our discovery process that young professionals are the target audience. Uh, young business professionals, they basically go over to Manhattan and they work and they come back to the, to, to the Grove community area to live. And that's kind of what they are. They have young families, and it's a very multicultural uh, environment. Um, and then uh, as far as like what they want to do moving forward, they wanted to be generous as a church. Um, they wanted to be uh, very urban, but also artistic uh, in how they present themselves in, into that community, because that's what they feel will resonate well with the people that live there. Uh, absolutely want to be a Jesus-focused um church, a Jesus-focused organization, uh, no, no um, uh, doubts about any of that. Uh, Bible teaching is very, uh, very much on the, the forefront of what they do. Um, it sounds very obvious for a church when I say that, but some churches have a different approach, and I found like you know, there's not really a wrong approach. It's just a matter of what's it going to take to reach the people that you uh, have in your community. Um, Grove really wanted to pr provide a place of renewal a place where you can personally be renewed and also where, as a church, they can help renew the, the neighborhood that's around the church. So renewal was a big idea as well that we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that the brand worked on all types of media. Uh, it had a classy look to it. Um, Grove is a reformed church, um, so they're more traditional in how they do services. Uh, so it just needed to have a classy look. Um, and also a timeless feel that's not too trendy. Um, so with that, we created a document uh, that helped outline this. Uh, in this document, we also picked, um, we looked through dozens of logos uh, of churches and picked our favorites. And then we listed out a few simple uh, ideas behind our favorites of what made them appealing. Um, and then we were able to design the logo from this document, having the discovery in place we were confident now to design. Now the discovery process is the majority of our logo design process. Like it takes up most of the time, even more than design. We want to discover everything about the church. We want to talk with the leadership of the church and unpack the story that they're trying to tell. And a lot of times uh, they don't know the story. So we, we provide a grid and behind me on this whiteboard, we just literally whiteboard out the story that they are trying to tell. And we have several tools to help us do that. Um, it takes a, about two hours to go through it. And it's just an amazing process that creates a lot of awe moments uh, for the church and, and for me as, as we're getting ready to set up designing uh, a brand. This is the logo that we came up with for Grove. So after the discovery process, this is the design. And this is the right design for Grove based on everything that they've said. So there's a mark and then there's a, there's a word that's happening here. Um, both of them together create the, the logo that represents Grove Church. The font itself is very simple and streamlined. It's elegant. 
but it's not too uh, religious. It has kind of a, tr uh, not a trendy feel, but just a modern feel to it. Because again, they, they wanted to really start reaching out to the community, uh, brand themselves as something that is relevant for their lives. Um, the mark itself has many pieces coming together. Uh, and they look like leaves. Uh, growth and discipleship is a big part of uh, what Grove does. Uh, just developing people, so growth is a big idea for, for, the, for the brand. Um, there's many leaves coming together, uh, kind of forming a square or a community um, aspect. They want to be a very community-focused uh, church. Um, so it's all these elements coming together, which again speaks towards the, the brand itself, bringing people together into groups. And then uh, the cross is in the middle. Because they preach the, the, through the Bible and they're not ashamed of that and it's something that they boldly do. Um, so they, they put that right in the middle uh, where it has the cross in the middle um, so that they pre 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 present the, uh, the gospel message even in their branding. Um, do we, we have another variation here uh, where the logo is off to the side. So we like to provide uh, maybe two variations. Uh, so that it can be used on the website as well as on a, on a t-shirt or so, something else. So um, the mark is also something we, we want to provide as a standalone mark. Uh, we like the combination mark for Grove because it, it allows them to have this mark by itself that they can place on different things. And you can kind of see that here on a t-shirt where the mark is being used by itself. Uh, so we create some letterhead, business cards, and uh, envelope. That's just part of our process. And then um, we also actually go ahead and create a branding document. Uh, so the brand guide is what unpacks this brand. It, it, it tells people what this brand is all about. And there's different parts to this document. Strategy is a big part of this. This is kind of the strategy we laid out. Um, we have a voice. This is a logo variations and colors and font treatments that are going to work well for this, uh, for this church moving forward to create a very consistent experience. And then this, this is a mood board. I, I'll, I'll take a moment here. So a mood board is just what, what uh, shows this brand in action. So we're just, we're just doing a Google search online to find uh, different designs that represent what this brand uh, should be doing as they present themselves with graphics. Um, so it's an active church. They serve the community. Uh, so when they, when they present themselves, we want to do something that looks relevant but isn't too trendy. So uh, this is just a representation to help uh, this, this church moving forward to provide uh, graphic designs and graphic elements that are going to be in line with the brand. So it's a mood board. It's not actual designs for this church. It's, it's designs from other places, other organizations, but that also uh, represent what this church should be doing. That way it gives some clear direction. Uh, we also have a photo guide of how, what type of photos we want, uh, and same thing with videos. So that's our brand guide. And again, uh, the Grove brand is something that we worked on for a church that is older. It's less than 100 people on a weekend, but it's, it's something where they, they just wanted to get this branding in place so that they, moving forward, they have clarity, they have a strategy, and they know what they're trying to do. And uh, their logo is just the tip of the iceberg. It's, it's, it's a representation of this vision they have to reach this community. Um, it's, it's relevant. It's designed in a way that that young professional in that area will be able to connect with the design. It's not going to turn them away. And then as they encounter their brand, we have a strategy that we help Grove lay out that should help them uh, attract those people and keep those people, create, create a sticky church where they want to be a part of it. And again, it starts with the logo design, but really it goes into the website, which we're working through with them right now, uh, signage on their property, signage in the facility. We even talk through like, hey, what does a membership process look like? Um, so that everything connects, everything from the website, which is the front door, people are gonna check you out there before anything else. It all connects towards helping people decide that Grove Church is our church home. We're gonna we're gonna plant here. We're gonna give our resources here. We're gonna be a part of what's going on here in the church. Thanks for letting me share about Grove. Um, this is Michael with Church Brand Guide. Uh, we we just create uh, resources for you to help you think through stuff like designing a logo for your church. And uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, if you ever need us to take a look at this for you, uh, feel free to reach out to us. So our website's churchbrandguide.com. And uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.